What's up people and welcome back to another Monday motivation video. Now you guys asked for some different content. So today I'm going to be showing you the different ways that I use this particular resistance band for my workouts. Now this is the Dermios heavy resistance band that I got from Decathlon for about 700 rupees. And there are many ways that you can use this resistance band to build muscle, to build speed and much more. So in this video, I'm going to show you how I personally use this resistance band. Now, one of the major reasons that I am making this video is because I have been using this resistance band for two years now and it has been the only resistance band that hasn't snapped. Now, if it does snap, Decathlon offers a two year warranty period where you can get the resistance band replaced if it has snapped due to a manufacturing defect. Now, that is very important. You can't snap this yourself and get a replacement. If you want to buy this resistance band, then I'll leave the link to it in the description so you can buy it from there. And in this video, I will give you a promo code that you can use at the checkout. Now, this promo code will enter you into a giveaway of gifts worth 5000 rupees. Now, the reason that I'm including this promo code at the end of the video is so that you watch the whole video and get a better idea and then decide to buy this rather than just buying it because you have a promo code for it. So make sure you watch until the end. And if you want to buy it, make sure you use the promo code at checkout before you buy the resistance band. If you're new around here, make sure you hit that subscribe button. You'd be an absolute legend because I'm trying to reach the 200 mark as soon as possible. Also, if there's anything about this workout that you want to let me know if I'm doing something wrong, if there's something that I could do better, then make sure you're using the comment section down below to let me know of all your suggestions. If you like what you see and if you learned something, make sure you leave a like and share it to anyone else who you think would benefit from watching this video. Before we get into the exercises, I adjust the resistance band to the ideal length. Then I anchor it to a rope which I have securely tied to a beam. It is important to ensure that whatever you are anchoring the band to can take the weight. I do cable flies and I do it for a lot more reps. When using resistance band you are going to have to do a lot more reps if you are looking to build muscle. Once I am done with that, I move on to the face pulls. Now again, I do the face pulls for a lot more reps and a lot more sets. After the face pulls, I recreate the lat pull down. For this, I use a pipe so that I can get the technique right. I adjust the length of the band according to the seat I'm using and then I recreate the lat pull down. If you do not have a pipe, you can just use the handles, they work fine too. After the lat pull down, I anchor the band lower to recreate a bent over row. Again using the pipe to get that technique and grip right. Once I am done with the bent over row, I move on to the tricep pull downs. So I anchor the band on top again, adjust the height and use the pipe to get the right technique. After the tricep pull downs, I anchor it below again and I do bicep curls using a pipe for better grip and technique. Again, if you do not have access to a pipe, the handles work just fine. Then I move on to an overhead tricep extension. After that I do hammer curls while standing on the band to anchor it. After that I do regular bicep curls in the same way. Once I'm done with that, I do lateral shoulder raises in the exact same way. 
After the lateral shoulder raises, I do front raises. And then I move into overhead shoulder press. I adjust the band accordingly by standing towards one end of it. After that, I change into doing single arm rows. In this case, I adjust the band such that there is enough resistance. I hold the other side of the band just to ensure that it doesn't move. Once I'm done with that, I move into cable twists. I step on one side of the band with both feet and adjust it so that I can get enough resistance on every twist. Once I'm done with that, I move into deadlifts. I adjust the band so that I get maximum resistance. Then I use the pipe for a better grip. After the deadlifts, I again adjust the band in such a way that I can do squats. I make sure that there is enough resistance but also enough elasticity to execute the squat. Now I also use this band to do resisted sprints and the first thing I do is tie the band to a pillar and then tie it to my waist in order to do the sprints. So the first variation is simple forward sprints where I hold for 2 or 3 seconds at the highest resistance. Then I do multi-directional sprints in the same way. After that, I adjust the band again and I do lateral jumps working on my balance and explosive strength. And then finally, I do forward jumps. That's the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something and now will consider buying this band. If you did, make sure you leave a like and also subscribe for more content like this.